Now, this will certainly get everyone's attention. An investigation has been launched into two of the country's biggest grocery chains. Indeed, we're maybe honing in a little bit more on some of the practices, the business practices of Loblaws and parent company of Sobeys, Empire, Empire Foods. So right now we are learning that there actually has been investigations underway for a couple of months now. It was just revealed today that Com Canada's Competition Bureau is investigating those two parent companies over what alleges to be an anti-competitive property controls in their lease agreements. So the commissioner details these controls as methods to restrict other potential tenants and their activities in specific geographic areas, buildings, and on properties. In theory, this may make it more difficult for new supermarkets to open. Empire, the parent company of Sobeys and other brands, is pushing back against the claims while Loblaw is cooperating with the Bureau's review. And Cynthia just adds more pressure to these grocery chains to change their business habits and make things more accessible for consumers. Interesting when, you know, big grocery stores are under a lot of scrutiny by customers and, and they're the companies people love to hate right now. Exactly, and all, the last thing they want is more competition to deal with, it seems. Definitely. Okay, so many shoppers are cutting back on their spending, Ari, and that goes far beyond groceries. Absolutely, and it looks like it's more of those non-discretionary items more than anything else in the face of high inflation. Another sign that Canadians to pull back on spending, especially for things like furniture, home furnishings, electronics, and appliances. So Statistics Canada released the retail sales report for the month of March, showing an overall drop of 0.2 percent but when we strip away things like gasoline car sales and parts it actually fell by 0.6 percent so a much bigger decline again for those things like furniture and electronics and other items now the bank of canada may see this as yet another signal that it's time to lower interest rates cynthia will hear from our central bank on june 5th and it's more than a 60 percent chance now that we see a drop then Interesting. Only 60. I thought it would have been higher if I was a betting person. They're saying if it's not June, then it's definitely July. So it's a little bit split, but leaning more towards that June option. Got it. Okay. Now, Ari, when was the last time you mailed a letter? Uh, I can't think of the last <laughs> time I did. There's a lot of red ink at Canada Post these days. Yeah, absolutely. And it happens to be their logo, I suppose. But that's just a coincidence. So we are talking about Canada Post, which apparently lost $748 million last year, which is happens to be its second worst year on record. And that number is actually before tax, I should mention. Now, experts are chiming in on these results, saying Canada Post is very much in need of drastic changes to get profitable again as it has lagged behind the quickly changing landscape especially over the past decade Canadians have been relying more and more on electronic options for things like documents and letters and the competition is also scooping up more and more of the parcel delivery market names like Amazon come to mind when you think of how Canada Post is having a tough time treading water Cynthia definitely all right thanks very much for that Ari and have yourself a wonderful weekend you as well Cynthia